up in the air than it did further forward. Switkowski swung off the ball. Kick there from Mangan. He's li he's uh, obviously not right, Mangan. He's limping on the wing now. Taken here by Merlo. Kicks inside forward 50. They've got the numbers. Deary got the hand pass over the top. Hetherington towards goal. Puts it through. Magnificent finish from Sean Hetherington. He's got three. And Williamstown are out to a nine-point lead. 8-12-60 to Box Hill on the Aussie Home Loans Blackburn scoreboard. They lead by eight points, and it's a big, big goal. 7-9-51, nine nine-point ball game, and with thanks to Barry Plant, Whitehorse, Neil Butler, a big, big goal for Sean Hetherington, his yep. third. When you, uh, when you see the scoreboard, it only adds an extra six points, but it does, it does what I said earlier, and that is it breaks that momentum that Box Hill had Williamstown have now kicked enough goals, I think. They, they need to now shut, you know, not shut it down, but I think Box Hill won't get two goals. The way the play has been going, we've played 22 minutes in the last quarter. Box Hill have to actually do something that they haven't done so far and kick two really quick goals. Well, here's a chance. Uh, Neil Butler's written them off. As they I didn't go say that. Through Swakowski. <laughs> Can they get another 16-second Liam Tobin goal like they did to uh, start the second term? It's inside their forward 50. Murphy with the ball. Tries to grasp his hands on the football, can't do so. And near the boundary line, ball the call it is. Wow. To Box Hill, yeah. I wasn't too sure who was at the bottom of the pack on that occasion, but uh, coming up with the ball is Murphy. And Murphy, an opportunity from uh, the dead pocket here at uh, Port Melbourne. I've seen a few good goals, though, this season. Eli Templeton and also Lockie George. Part of our top five uh, plays of the year as it punched through. That and hits the behind post. Hit the behind post and we'll see a boundary throw in. So 23 minutes gone, final term. Nine point lead to Williamstown. Pressure now on Box Hill. They've got to get that momentum back. That's what that goal did. It killed the, go the momentum. So tap down. McAvoy in the ruck with Monkhorst going to the sidelines. Still inside forward 50 for the Box Hill Hawks. Ball the call. They're hot on it, the umpires. Mm. And it will be Bewley to take the ball from half back. We'll cross down boundary side very shortly to uh, Brendan Hooper just to get an update maybe on Zach Monkhurst and how he's played. In the meantime, Williamstown bring the ball out along the outer wing. And uh, they'll be pretty happy to see this one over the line. And instead, Jordan Walker picks it up for Box Hill in there. Trying to feed it out. Murphy picks it up. Goes back to go forward, back to Langford. Feigns the hand pass. Then Box Hill kick it up towards the half-forward line. But going back, taking a really nice mark. McKenzie had a really good game today for the Seagulls. And he says it's his options. Let's go down to Brendan Hooper, thanks to m &R Davis Constructions. Any update on Zach Monkers for Box Hill? Yeah, they just restrapped his left ankle. He's just put his sock on now and put his boot on and see how he feels. Cool. Good thanks. Work. Uh, great work to you. Thanks, uh, Hoops. As uh, they've worked it out along the outer side to Owen. Have the Seagulls on the wing. This one inside 50. Deary from behind. Mark not paid to the man in front there. Didn't quite uh, grab it cleanly. Box Hill get the clearing kick. Murphy, nice little hand pass it up. Graham, hospital hand pass from Graham though. Gets it back now with a 1-2. Now an opportunity for Bond. Kicks up towards the half forward line. Singh's got the sit but didn't get the bounce. McKenzie got the bounce. He's happy to see it over the line and out of bounds. Nine point ball game in favour of Williamstown. 60 plays, 51. 25-minute mark in the final term of the AFL Victoria Development League Grand Final here at Northport Oval. Here on 3WBC, he's Anthony Stangitz. Well, another thriller between these two teams. They never disappoint come Grand Final Day as Williamstown try to clear Box Hill. Try to keep it inside their forward half. Over the ball, Graham. Can't extract it. Carr just making sure he goes nowhere. I think we can be certain, though, it won't be a draw given that it's one goal three, the difference. If it is, we'll replay that, Neil Butler. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tap down. Good work by Walsh. Here's a chance. Tobin, low kick towards goal. Low <laughs> and one of those off points. the nine. And 52 plays at 60, thanks to Aussie Home Loans Blackburn, our scoreboard sponsors today. And just the eight points as we've ticked over 25 and a half minutes final term. Ben Waterworth. Singh went short to Deary takes the mark and Monk has got it in the right back pocket. Williamstown aiming for a third consecutive premiership. A remarkable feat that but even more remarkable 
If Box Hill did lose today, it'd be their first development league loss for the entire season. Murphy takes the ball, goes in board to McAvoy, but every single player on the ground is in front of him. McAvoy on that left boot, kicks towards the flank position, over the head of Langford. Good bounce for Soccio, over the top to Trainor. Needs to kick this, Matty Trainor. Swings back and just nicks the post, I reckon, at the last minute yep. it did. Matty Trainor, that would have been a massive goal for the Hawks. Instead, it's a minor score. And 7-11-53 Box Hill, 8-12-60. We're one point away from a one-goal <laughs> ball game, Neil Butler. And oh, that's on the Aussie Home Lanes Blackburn scoreboard. I like to make it controversial. <laughs> oh, big kick in from Williamstown. Now the Hawks, they go long, they go goalward. Here's an opportunity. Handball to Trainor in the goal square. This time he doesn't miss. <laughs> and we have a one point. Point ball game as the scoreboard ticks over to the 27 minute mark of the final term. One solitary point of the difference between these two teams. Now I just want to make a couple of comments that I, I might have been taken out of context. <laughs> what I said was Williamstown have kicked enough goals to make this really interesting. I think it dropped off at the end when I just said they had enough goals okay. and that it couldn't be a draw unless three points were kicked by Box Hill. That was my other thought. I was taken out of context, mm-hmm. I think. All thanks to Barry plant Whitehalls, of course. Correct. <laughs> oh, Zach Bonkhurst has come back on the ground too. Great work, Brendan Hooper. Thanks to him and our Davis Constructions on the boundary. One point ball game in the AFL Victoria Development League Grand Final. Hope you're enjoying the call wherever you're listening on 3WBC Football. Chazari for Williamstown. She couldn't quite get the clearance out. Big tackle applied in the middle of the ground. We'll see a secondary ball up advanced. Probably another 10 metres further forward for the Hawks. Based on the other quarters, we've got about two minutes to go. They've all been 30-minute quarters so far. And, of course, if Box Hill kick a behind or score behind in the next uh, minute before full time, it'll be a golden point. Here's Lewis inside, forward 50. Jones didn't quite get to him. They've got the numbers. Trainor! Behind. <laughs> As I said, it could be a draw. He's got one goal, three today, Matty Trainor. Scores are level. 8-12-60 apiece. Anthony Stangots on the Aussie Home Loans Blackburn scoreboard. One minute to go in this grand final <laughs> game. 60 seconds for one team to score. All we're, it doesn't matter about the 60 seconds anymore. It'll basically be next score wins anyway. Yep. So let's see. Box Hill Hawks have the ball at half forward. Held up. And we will see a ball up. Get ready for the tape, Phil Edwards. We'll go back to it, Neil Butler. <laughs> I think that was at the 20. No, I said it wouldn't. I said it wouldn't be a draw. It can't be. It'll be golden point. So the ball goes forward. Oh. Here's an opportunity for Williamstown. They're at their forward 50. Eerily like 2013 when they went forward and it was just a behind that got them the grand final victory. It was the first of their back-to-back premierships. Can they get the three-peat this year at half forward for Williamstown? 29 minutes gone, final term. And I would say we're into Golden Point territory oh. now. Mark taken on the outer side by Swakowski. Got to go long. You would think next score wins in the Golden Point scenario. They kick in short, Hardesty. They're taking their time. The runners are out, so they've told them. Yeah. Time is up, Golden score. Nice. That's how this grand final is going to be decided now. Next score wins. Long kick by the Box Hill Hawks to half forward. All they need is a score. Long kick right in front of goal. McAvoy, it's uh, Jones, Jones, one-on-one with Deary. Ball comes in, nice. goes outside a defensive 50, and Williamstown are away. They are. It's a good kick as well. They've got two free players. Bounce, bounce suits Walsh. He's got two on one inside, 450. He took a bounce, and it didn't come back up to him. And the turnover occurs. Box will get the clearing kick. Gibson couldn't quite Paid take the mark. The mark. He no, is, the no, mark. has been paid the mark. Sam Gibson now. Oh Looks to play on. He's been told by teammates to settle down. 50. Langford takes the mark. Nah, Hawks fans and Neil Butler wants 50. Doesn't get it. So he's right in front of us here in the broadcast position. Next score wins. It literally is next score wins. Lewis will by himself further afield. So that's a bit of bad checking there from the Seagulls. Lewis will send this one inside. Forward 50. Who's going to be there for the ball? Over the back. Almost a mark to Box Hill. That was to Exxon. 
Kick comes out, Traynor got boot to ball, but Deary's there at the last line of defence. We could be here for a while, gentlemen. <laughs> the ball comes out, Bewley takes the market left half back, trots away on the outer side, just kicks in hope more than anyone else. Kicks to our favourite player, no one in particular, running onto the ball, Summers. It'll trickle over the line and out of bounds. And it looks like our uh, preliminary final this afternoon might be delayed a few minutes as the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. Baron the umpire wastes no time. Brings the ball back into play. Big thump forward by the Hawks. On his far as Bewley. Got it over the top. Bewley runs onto it again. Here's an opportunity for the Seagulls. A long kick inside. 50. Out ball. of bounds. On the full from Bewley. Out of bounds Look on the full. McAvoy running up here by himself. No score. So Box Hill will bring it out towards the wing position here. Neil Butler's called it. McAvoy's by himself. Soccio has it. Takes a second bounce through the middle of Northport Oval. Kicks out towards the half forward flank. Bounce needs to suit Switkowski. It stays in play. Well done, Switkowski. Can he bring it inside? Forward 50. Kicks towards a white person inside 50. Couldn't quite take the mark. Box Hill the numbers. Trainor was there. McAvoy's there. Couldn't affect the smother. Williamstown have the ball at right half back. Mark not paid to McKenzie, but they'll look to bring That's it out there on the wing. Here's an opportunity again. Hetherington's got the ball. Just needs to hit a target. Switch the ball up. He goes with an interesting hand pass in board. Kick from Singh. Good. Good kick. Mark has been taken by Owen, but he's 50 metres out on the wrong side for a right footer. He does have the breeze, if it is a breeze. He does. So he's 50 metres out. The umpire will tell him to get back closer to the boundary line. I remember Jimmy Bartell in a Geelong Hawthorne game. He had a shot for goal after the siren when scores were level. All he, he said after the game, all he was worrying about was kicking it behind. Owen has got the same task in front of him now. Jake Owen unloads. Kick looks good for a score. It might go through for a behind. It does. That's the game. Williamstown are going to win their third consecutive premiership. The siren should sound. There it is. Jake Owen, the golden boy with the golden boot, wins the game. Williamstown win their third consecutive premiership and Box Hill's perfect season is cut short with a one-point loss. Williamstown, 8-13-61. Box Hill, 8-12-60. Nearly 33 minutes that quarter went for. The Seagulls are premiers in the AFL Victoria Development League Grand Final. An unbelievable finish as patrons from the grandstand flock to the Seagulls. The Seagulls flock to the Seagulls. And what a finish. Box Hill plays devastated on the ground here at Northport Oval. 8-13-61 Williamstown. Box Hill 8-12-60. Goal kickers 2 to Damasi and Switkowski for Box Hill. 1 to Summers, Tobin, Traynor and Kidd for Box Hill. For Williamstown, Sean Hetherington in the end. Three goals for him. One to Brett Bewley, Ben Castley, Tyler Curtis, Merlo and Monk. Jake Owen kicked two behinds today. But in the end, that was the most important score of the day.